Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. It's Tuesday, so we're taking a tech dive. Now, this is our fifth in our five part series of streaming devices for your television. Now, we've covered the Apple TV, the Roku, we've covered the Chromecast, and we've also covered the Raspberry Pi running XBMC. Today, we're going to group a whole bunch of other devices in here that really don't count as streaming boxes. Uh, first thing we're going to talk about is game consoles. Now, if you have a Wii or a Wii U or an Xbox or an Xbox One or a PS3 or a PS4, you have a streaming device to some extent. Now, the original Wiis could stream Netflix, but they couldn't stream much else. But uh, they did do that, so I guess they do qualify. The uh, Xbox and the PS3 actually could stream more things than that. They could do Hulu, they could do Netflix, but again, not very much as far as the streaming device, but they do qualify. But the new range of game consoles, the Wii U, which isn't very popular, but does have a lot of streaming capability. The PS4 has a number of streaming capabilities, but I guess the, the winner in the streaming wars as far as game consoles would be the Microsoft Xbox One. It is actually geared to be a streaming device as well as a gaming device. Uh, it is a full entertainment system. You can even run your cable through your Xbox One and have a pass through right back to your television. So you don't even have to switch inputs. You can just say, go to the TV and you can actually talk to it. So that's a, an interesting uh, bent on a streaming device. The next category I want to talk about is smart Blu-ray players. I mean, if you have a TV and you want a, a Blu-ray player, you might as well buy a smart Blu-ray player. They're not very expensive. They range anywhere from $100 to $300, um, but the $100 ones work very well. Um, I have a, a smart Blu-ray player, and it has uh, the ability to stream Netflix and Amazon videos and Hulu Plus, and I have subscriptions to all those, so it works very well. The last category is the TV itself. There are smart TVs. Now, there's a couple of different camps on this particular type of streaming. Some people say, well, why get a smart TV when you can get a box that you can plug in, and if the boxes you know, get better, you can just get a new box. You can't really upgrade your TV. But that's not necessarily true, because smart TVs do update themselves with more capabilities, um, newer versions of the applications that you bought when you bought the television. So there's a lot of streaming capability within smart TVs as well. Again, the top three, Hulu Plus, Netflix, and Amazon Video are all usually represented on the smart TV, plus other things that you can get to as well. So this actually finishes up our uh, series on streaming devices for your TV here on Tech Dive TV. Next week, next Tuesday on Taking a Tech Dive, we're going to start a series on the actual services you use to stream. Things like Netflix, Hulu Plus, Amazon Prime, and others. So stay tuned for that next week. Until then, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. Have a great day.